up next. But a win in mixed doubles for the Chinese. Action still unfolding on court two out here. Victory for the Chinese and some local. Chinese fans really enjoying that with their flags waving. Good showing on day one so far. Well, welcome back, viewers, to uh, the scene inside the Energy Arena here in Vanta, Finland. And uh, Court 1 will soon be bringing you men's singles action. Court 2, the action is unfolding still over there. That's between Thailand and India. But uh, for now, on our match here, China against Finland, well, you can see the China with such a strong contingent in mixed doubles through comfortably in that opening match. Here come the players for match two. And uh, they're calling on the second Chinese male singles player, and that is Lu Wang Su. Not, uh, opting not to play Xi si Yu Chi, world number 11. They've gone with this man, the world number 27, Lu Wang Su from Su Zhu Jiangxi province and has been up to 17 in the world this man back in May 2019 he takes on local favourite the Finnish number one Kale Koljonen
born and resides in Helsinki, one meter 75 tall. He uh, speaks Finnish English and a little bit of Swedish by his own admission. And he's a left-hander, which is always tricky. Takes a little while to get used to because they're uh, a rarity on tour, really. But he won the Team European Championship bronze at the European Championships in Basel, Switzerland in 2014, did Kalle. And uh, well, he won a singles bronze at the European Championship in uh, Kiev in April, beating Rasmus Gemke, a Dane, ranked 12th in the world. So very good win there. And in the quarterfinals, that was. But he's the first finished adult European Championship medalist in badminton is Kolyanen. So saying hello to David Evans, the uh, service judge, and uh, Reza Roshan Omid, the umpire for this one. Again, it is a first meeting between these two. But this man, with his best uh, result of late, that semi-final of the European champs for Kela Kolyanen at the end of April. Can he put up some resistance against this tough Chinese athlete, Lu Guang Su, a year younger? Well, I think he was called into action just a little bit quicker than he would have uh, hoped for, really. That mixed doubles was over at the, in the blink of an eye, wasn't it? Can he put up some more resistance here? Kalakolyanen against Lu Guang Tzu of China in this men's singles contest. A right smile of frustration across the face of Keller Kulianen there. A lucky start from Lou, who looks stone faced and very stern. Big uh, pressure on his shoulders, seemingly. China expectation after what happened in that opening rubber. Terrific return of serve there from the Finn he pounced all over that quickly and just stared down to his Chinese opponent as if to say that's what I'm bringing let's see what you've got Just out. Kalakolinen moving around keenly. The Finn won the finish. National Singles Championships in 2016 and 18. Started playing when he was six years of age. As I say, great win over Rasmus Gemke, the Dane, ranked 12th in the world in the European Championships in Kiev back in April. That was heady for him. That'll give him a lot of confidence. Lost up to Axelsson in the end. But it was a competitive affair against Victor. 21-14, 21-14. 44 minutes in the Palace of Sports in Kiev. Confident start from the Finn here. This is encouraging. Oh, that's gorgeous precision there from Luke. 
just when you thought he was under quite a bit of pressure. Look at this, moment of magic, comes up some gorgeous hand skills. Super reverse slice. Look at the speed to follow up on that cross net there from Lu Guanzhou. Really fast. Powerful quads. Very explosive. Good power to body weight ratio from the Chinese. Oh yes, quick to bounce, wasn't he? Look at the reaction as well. Barking his way after that one. He's fired up, there's no doubting that. So much at stake for him. So much pride at home. Wants to get on the front foot and have a really good showing. He's enjoying his time out here on Show Court One, which is always good to see. <laughs> Wonderful point engineered from Keller Kolyanen. And they are up out of their seats, many of them. You do sense that he has to win the opening game if he's serious about contesting this match. Oh, that's gorgeous. Stunning. Look at the poise and control. Masterful wrist dexterity from Lou there. Unfaced by the scoreboard deficit, the Chinese seemingly. Really, really clever play from Keller. Kolyanen. Just a nod of acknowledgement from Villiang. Oh, both unable to engineer any more than a couple of consecutive points. Unable to break away from the other in this highly competitive opening passages of play out here on Joe Court 1. Quick to close that down and again roars from this partisan Finnish crowd. Two point cushion. After six minutes, Bukaya. Okay. 
It's landed in. Misjudgment from Lou. Lu Guang Zhu wanting to challenge this. But a challenge spurned out of desperation, you sense. Let's have a look. Yeah, plum on the line, no doubting that. Just a chance to momentarily step off stage, you sense, for Lu there. Quick towel down, but he's three, four points adrift now. And that's a stray as well. You've got to be careful here. He doesn't want to let Gullion accelerate away. As, as we take a look at the shuttle dispenser. All brought in during these COVID times. Less physical contact, the better. That's what it's all about. So, five game points for Gullion here. Uh, points to the mid-game interval, I should say. Oh, he thinks he's won. Well, by judging by that body language, he's sure he's found the edge of the line, Kolyanen here. So he heads to the towel and his kit box momentarily. It'll go upstairs and be checked. Has he found the line or not? Let's take a look. No way out. <laughs> it's a little vex there, doesn't he? Challenge unsuccessful. Six, ten, yeah, too much pace from Luke. They're all smiles, aren't they, at the moment? Oh, another lucky nibble off the net take from Lou. And he'll take that and sees. Reducing arrears out here in game one. Just starting to settle down, you sense, after the immediate wheel spinning from the start line from Kalakolyanen. There's a lot of pride at stake for both these men, particularly this home stalwart. Let's welcome the technical officers for bar two. Yeah, lovely back behind from Lu Guang Zhu. Well, the Chinese showing a lot of character right now with three consecutive, indeed four consecutive points for him, hauling the score tally back to neutral seemingly, four in a row. Yes, just closing in so quickly. And he looks just that little bit more balanced and poised. The Finn throwing himself around everywhere, really sort of struggling to keep pace with the Chinese right now. Look at this, look at the focus in those eyes, taking that as high as he possibly can just to rush his man. 
and a one-fingered salute. Back to the comfort of parity then. Deadlock in this opening game now. Five in a row for the Chinese. But there's the Finn in the end who manages to get to the turn with that solitary one-point lead. At five to 11 local time. It's Kalakolyanen with a 11-10 lead at the mid-game interval. Straining every sinew, Luke with that generous run of five points. Throwing himself around, doing so well. But the Finn with a slender advantage at the turn. So as we head to a quarter of an hour of action out here on one, in this second rubber, it's a very competitive affair. Kala Kolyanen just uh, weathering the recent Chinese storm that's coming pretty thick and fast. Lu Guangzhou has been right on it. But the left-hander, a very streaky player. And when he goes on these runs, this man in the blue shirt, he can really create uh, problems. Very gifted. Off that career high ranking of 67 in the world. Just the 40 spots between them favoring the Chinese. Oh, that's gorgeous. Really well constructed by Calabolina. Very cleverly engineered. Moving keenly. And just thrashes that one to a slender slither of space on the court. He's uh, stoked today, isn't he? Absolutely fired up. He wants this so badly. Rarely do these players get international exposure at home. No greater stage than this. First ever hosting of a major event for Finland in badminton. So a really historic day for the Finns. And they're keen to uh, show the world what they're made of. Deadlock again in this opening game. Well, he was always chasing the point, wasn't he? Calicolian in then. Very, very good. Front foot badminton from Lu Huang Zhu. Look at this. Masterful there. Really mesmerizing accuracy and poise. 
And he just looks that little bit more comfortable right now, physically. Early days, of course, no uh, real fatigue at this stage on day one. Oh, yes. Keeping his foot to the floor. 15, He's picked up the pace nicely, and he needs to. Well, from 11.13 to 16.13, five in a row for Luna. He's really starting to take initiative and hold on to the momentum created. straight smash from the fin and a guttural roar of approval afterwards you'll need a few more where that one came from stopping the runner points at five for Lu Kwon Zhu Desperate to stay with the world number 27 is Kalakolina. Straining every sinew, utter focus to try and haul this back to parity. He's still a point adrift. They've got the big bass drum out. And he is responding, barking with energy. Big point right here. Oh, fabulous from Lou. What a response from him. He really has been sprightly, moving so keenly around this. Look at that. Just inside the line, weighted to perfection. Two-point cushion again for the Chinese. a challenge Finn thinks he's found his uh, his spot keenly looking uh, upstairs uh, he's just missed by the looks of it just that little bit more creative in defense isn't he uh, Yeah, that one spills over the back line. And Lou starting to turn the screw in what's been a pretty tight opening game. Oh, man. 
mesmerizing defense there from Kalakulian and who read the play so well to get out of danger just when we thought it was going to be three consecutive Chinese points he played everything right did Lu but terrific defensive prowess from Kalakulian and that uh, pierces the mini bubble of momentum that China have He's been overdoing it, hasn't he? <laughs> this is such an important rubber in the overall fixture, the overall tie. Very, very important because Konyanen is only 40 points shy of the ranking of uh, Lu. So it's, it, it was always going to be a, a reasonably competitive affair. And uh, where elsewhere it looks uh, a lot more sort of lopsided in terms of ranking distance between the uh, opponents. What's this, uh, a blood wound? Slightly. Kalakonina just uh, stepping off stage. Doctor to the fore in his deep bag of goodies. What's he got here? Get some magic potion on it. That, that'll do it. just clean the wound so easy to get an infection in there one of the scars of sport at this level yeah just went sliding along that left knee there didn't he makes you wince watching it that'll burn for a little while Keen team support courtside. They know how key this rubber is in the overall tie context. Superb injection of pace from Lou. Tangling the left hand of Kolyanen. Right into his armpit, that one, a body jammer. So four game points for Lu Guangzhou. Well, he was 5-10 down, was Lu Guang Zhu, but finds a way, this Chinese number two men singles player, to uh, secure the opening game by 21 points to 16 then, after just 25 minutes of action. A very competitive opener, that one. And hopefully game two will prove equally so. Confirmation of the scoreline, 21-16. Halfway home is Lou.
Well, didn't he do well? 5-10 down in that opening game and a lot of noise against him. But he uh, kept his cool, kept composed. And here we are at the start of game two. Opening game secured by Lu Wanzhou after 25 minutes. So it's a must-win game for Kalakolyanen to extend his stay here in this uh, opening tie. And this race to three match wins. China, a match to the good already. This is rubber two. We have three more matches to bring you. And originally, of course, the BWF awarded Suzhou a chance to host this China back in at uh, this tournament back in China back in November 2018. But due to COVID-19 restrictions, of course, on Thursday the 29th of June, it all changed. Tamanta here in Finland. Chinese badminton athletes uh, didn't compete in international tournaments at all throughout 2020. When you look on each of their results profiles, there's just a, 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 a void over that year. No activity at all. All in the same boat. It's great to have them back. Although Colonina won't be thinking so right now. All donning masks sensibly, part of the BWF protocol. But generous in their applause for their man, the Chinese team. Really enjoying the way that this one's starting to unfold now. They can settle and sit back in their seats. That little bit more relaxed now. Their charge is a game to the good. Well done. Well, it's pretty exhausting being part of the team when you're having to applaud so generously. It takes its toll, and over eight days, they'll be exhausted by the end of those eight days. There's no doubting that. Need to keep something in reserve, particularly if you're likely to be showcasing your skills on court. Well, in keeping with the theme of that opening game, as we take a look at the bass drummer, who's uh, furiously involved there, Kalakolinen, with a decent three-point cushion again. Remember, he went 10-5 up in that opener, was unable to contain and keep this man at arm's length. Keen eyes. Enjoying the scene. Well, 31 minutes have elapsed in this overall rubber. And this man is acquitting himself very, very well. But he will want to secure this second game any which way he can. He looks very focused right now. Yeah, the clear just a little short got the treatment. Four, five. 
So in all honesty, this rubber here is the one that the Finns are really gunning for. Just 40 world ranking spots between these two men, with Lou ranked higher at 27 in the world. Well, he gave it his all, didn't he, Colin? And the defence was outstanding, but in the end, it was breached by Lou, who just keenly kept the pressure on with precision and pace. Lovely cross net there, and a wonderful follow up. Training every sinew to stay with his man is Kalakolinen. To no avail there. So three red shirted points in a row now. Yeah, really well put together, and he's fist pumping again, and extends his slender lead by two points. Does Kalinen? Really well played deception right there, and that managing to open up the court nicely. Got the uh, windscreen wiper on his Chinese opponent there. Side to side, no let up. Snarling and snorting his way through is Callum. Can he secure this must win game from Finland's perspective? Against a man who's got two BWF titles to his name. Yeah, so Lewis contested four finals, all in 2018, incidentally, when his ranking was at its highest of 17 in the world. Two of them were Super 300s and two Super 100 level events. Two wins, two runner-up showings. So he's a man of experience compared to Kolyanen, and he's a top 30 player. But the Finn is off a career high ranking of 67 in the world, so playing his best, and he'll need to here. Well, that'll go down as an unforced error. <laughs> Keller enjoyed that one. <laughs> as does Villalang. <laughs> He got away with murder there, and he knows it. <laughs> Quite a moment. And a little lapse from Lou, who holds his hand up in apology. Seemingly momentarily embarrassed. So four points adrift is Lou right now. And we uh, 
had a situation like this in the opening game, didn't we? Where we thought Collier Nen was going to race out to the mid-game interval with a very dominant lead, but then got pegged back. Good deception from Luke. Seven, four, six, nine, four, two, that shuffle needs changing, suggested the Finn. Now, can he get to the safety of the turn? Colin in here. Yes, he can. He's roaring with delight. 11 points to six. We head to the mid-game interval with the Finn in front. Five-point cushion. That'll feel good right now. Champions like Chen Yufei and Wan Yi Liu, Huang Dongping. They lend so much solidity to the team, don't they? Along with other strong doubles players like Chen Chik Chen and Xie Yifan, Du Yui and uh, Liu Cheng, uh, Ti Jing, Tan Chang. The lane goes. The list goes on. Just endless quality in that Chinese lineup. We like that one. Very deceptive. But just slight of the hand there at the end. Lovely little disguise. Look at that. Even Lou, who's uh, rapid, has uh, left stone footed there. Oh yes, well done. Down but not out. And uh, behind Lu, they've even got the Youth Olympic Games champion in men's singles as well, Li Shi Feng, to call on should they need to. But uh, Shi Yu Chi, you'd imagine, needs some court time. So perhaps he'll be in action tomorrow. It's a match a day, pretty much for each of these teams. Good leave from Villa Lang. Collier, I should say. Sit down. Seven, 
Well, they're already the most successful team in Sudan Cup history as 11 times champions, the Chinese. Tremendous depth. Top in their group is uh, nearly a foregone conclusion, frankly. But the critical contest in the group will therefore be for second place, likely between Thailand and India, which is unfolding right now over on court two. India up in that one by 1-0. One Well, he's drawing out the errors, and Lou definitely nowhere near as effective as he was at the other side of the court. He's really grappling with this one right now, and uh, to finish delight. Almost three quarters of an hour have, has elapsed out here on show court one in this contest. And this man, Kenny square the match by winning the second game. It's a terrific point from Lou, and it had to be at this stage because Cunningham has uh, engineered a couple of runs of four points in the opening stages of this second game. It's a must winner for the man in the blue shirt. He knows that, but he'll the little idiosyncrasies of this hall he'll be more akin to than his Chinese opponent. That's for sure. It always helps to play at home. They have spent a lot of practice time here, the Finns. So, three in a row then for Lou, who suddenly is keenly pouncing all over that net, stripping Kolyanen of any time at all. What was a seven point lead at 16-9 suddenly dwindled a little for the Finn. And that'll feel a little less comfortable for him as Lou looks stone-faced and ready to haul this one back. Yeah, he's upped his level significantly, hasn't he? A fourth consecutive point for the first time in game two from the Chinese. When he looked all at sea, suddenly he just shifted into a higher gear. And now he's asking some really tough questions of the Finn. Yeah. 
A handful of Chinese points. Look at the precision of the straight smash. Nothing Kala could do about that. Well, indecision working against him there, Luke. There was hesitancy and it cost him the point. So the runner point stops at five for Lu Huangzhou. Can this man just find a way to survive and bring parity to this match by somehow stealing the second game? Well, he came to momentarily spoil the Chinese party, did Keller. But this man looking resolute that he won't. Well, a roar from one side of the court and a wince from the Chinese side. He's frustrated with that mi that miss. That'll go down as an unforced error from the Chinese. Now then, can he? A three-point cushion for Kalakolyanen of Finland. But still three tough points away from winning a game. Yeah, Lou with his electrically explosive first step. Closing down the space quickly. Yeah, super precision and pace from Lu Guangzhou. And you sense, though he was right down on the scoreboard at 16-9, that there would always be this decisive fight back at some stage. And he really has brought it of late. He's won seven out of the last eight points now. Oh, the pace very high from Lou. He is motoring around at such speed. He really has upped his level. Look at the physicality and the control of this. Stripping the fin of any options. So after 52 minutes of play, we have deadlock in game two, 18 points all. He's won nine out of the last 10 points. The man with the red shirt. He'd dearly love to get this done in straight games. Oh. 
He's enjoying this run of play. And so he should. Two points away from victory now is Lu Wanzhou. Kala wants more. What can he give here? Well, this space to hit two seems like a postage stamp route right now, such as the superior movement of the Chinese athlete who now has two match points. Wow. Hold on a minute on match point. Power out. Where did that come from? After 54 minutes, we've had a power out throughout the venue. The lights have gone down and would you believe it? It was on match point. How astonishing. <laughs> Kalakoyanen. Wow, he's seeing the funny side of this, but uh, what happens now, I don't know. As we all look towards the light in the house, which is the scoreboard at the beside and above court three. But the uh, badminton world momentarily pauses out here after 55 minutes we're going to just see the moment it happened here we go so he's uh, right up against it with a nice little lift away there suddenly it all goes dark that was a clever shot wasn't it then this lift away right over to the deep forehand corner of Lou and <laughs> maybe someone needs to put a coin in the meter <laughs> Well, he's not throwing in the towel just yet, that's for sure. But we do need the lights back on to resume. So uh, enjoying the moment is Keller Collin and the uh, Finnish number one men's singles player. That's how the score stands. Look at that. Nicely poised from Chinese fans' perspective. Lu Guangzhou at match point. Mid-rally, almost there. <laughs> Suddenly, the power down. So uh, here we are. There's flickers up above. Let's see. So who knows? Maybe it's written in the stars that Keller Gullinen can still turn this one around with that kind of fate match point down. Who knows? But that was uh, incredible timing on show court one, anyhow. Deep into this second rubber between Lu Guangzhou and Kala Kolyanen. Chinese finish clash on day one here at the Sudaman Cup. Uh, here we are. So lights are slowly being restored. Athletes just waiting to uh, resume action. And of course Lu Guangzhou will be keen to put this to bed having worked so hard to haul it back he was 9-16 down in game two really with an uphill battle but didn't he put his shoulder to the wheel and put in a good shift he thereafter banged in two runs of five consecutive points the Chinese to haul the game back to parity and then just accelerated away so he seemingly can do no wrong right now but he's still got to try and cross the line and often that's the most difficult thing to do well gradually things are coming back to uh, normality these two just sensibly keeping warm
and enjoying a uh, relaxed rollover of their arms. And so uh, the power is being booted up. It's getting brighter and brighter. So we'll soon have the resumption of this exciting encounter. This is the one that Finland knew they had to win, frankly, because it was the uh, least gulf between them in rankings. Who won so 27 in the world, Kala Kolyan and 67 in the world, so 40 spots between them, just a year in age, with Lou being that year younger at 26. And this lefty-righty clash, and we are poised. Lights, cameras, action. So we will resume, and the score stands with Lu Guangzhou with two match points. And of course, Kalakolinen is sort of like, or, or, or well, sort of protesting because he's got the spotlight still down in his uh, left-hand corner of his court. <laughs> so he'll want that one turned off because that'll be a dazzler as he looks upwards, no doubt. But what an unusual turn of events. Oh, not that one, wrong switch. Okay, so there's a man walking around on the roof supports up above. Just literally above where Kalakolinen is standing. Ready? Ready? Kale? Kale? Ready? So two match points then for Lu Guang Zhu here in this second rubber. One saved. Now, how has it affected the concentration of Lu Guangzhou this recent power out? One match point saved by the Finn. A guttural roar of relief from Lu Guangzhou. But Kala's not done with it yet. He wants a challenge here. On this second match point opportunity, Lu feels he's crossed the line and let out generous emotion of utter relief. It's well long. And in the end, a performance imbued with utter conviction and a trust from Lu Guangzhou, who salutes his teammates and comes through in straight games just inside an hour of action but what a competitive affair that was 21 16 21 19 favoring Lu Guangzhou who will feel utter relief after that win it was such a competitive match wasn't it well certainly much more so than the mixed doubles in the opening rubber so coming through in an hour and two minutes in the end, Lu. And this is the match point. This is how he did it. There was hesitancy earlier in the point from Lu. And that one he elected to leave and what a decision that was. And well, you can see there the arm aloft from the Finn who wants it challenged. But he knew all along that that was way long over the back line. So, Lu Guangzhou through, and China with a heady 2-0 lead in the overall context here. China against Finland. Five matches we'll be bringing you, three more yet to unfold. It'll be women's singles up next, but for now, in the men's singles, Lu Guangzhou.
follows Wang and Huang, who had the earlier win in the mixed doubles. So there he is through, 21-16, 21-19 in an hour and two minutes. Don't go too far. We'll be back with uh, women's singles very, very shortly. Well, it's a glorious day outside in Vanta, Finland, and uh, here inside as well. It's all action, action on uh, courts one and three, and we're just about to bring you more. Mixed doubles was won in China against Finland by uh, Wang Yiliu and Huang Dongping. In straight games, 21-3, 21-9, just uh, 20 